All right, so we got a lot of things to fix on this bus to get it on the road. And the first thing I'm gonna tackle is the batteries. When we bought the bus, the batteries were flat dead. They had to boost it. And uh, just as a result of sitting, the batteries are shot. So inside of this bus, we got three lead acid batteries. So a normal person would replace these lead acid batteries and move on with their life. But I'm a little bit crazy. Each one of these batteries costs probably $250 to $350. So you're looking at roughly $1,000 worth of batteries to replace. Now my problem with these is if you leave the key on or over discharge it in the winter time, you will have permanently damaged these batteries. And you can only do that two or three times before these will no longer have the power to start this bus. So every time you do that, it's a thousand dollars, thousand dollars, thousand dollars. And if I'm going to spend a thousand dollars, I want to spend a thousand dollars on something that's going to last. Battery technology has come quite a long way from this chemistry. So I'm going to look at replacing these with a different kind of chemistry that will last much longer, be much more resilient to the cold and hopefully have even more cranking power per the volume of weight. These are also quite heavy and hard to deal with. So let's look at replacing them. In this video, I'm not gonna go down the rabbit hole about how to build a battery. If that is something you guys are interested in seeing in a future video, let us know in the comments. These are Lycian 18 amp hour lithium titanate cells, and I bought them off of batteryhookup.com. We'll leave links down below for all the products we used in this build. Okay, so we're gonna build uh, the starting battery with these titanate cells. So we need to make bus bars, put it together. So we have this big piece of aluminum and all we're going to do is drill holes and cut into pieces. So we came here to the shop and they have a nice drill press so it makes life a lot easier. So we're going to measure this out, mark it and then uh, put some holes in it. Okay, so what I've done is I've connected all these cells together in parallel so that if there's any difference in between these cells, the differences will level off. And so I've checked with my multimeter and every single cell is now reading at 2.48. So they're perfectly balanced. And as you can tell, I've taken some Kapton tape and I've wrapped the edges of all of the bus bars. Um, I kind of arced the pack accidentally because one of these dropped when it got loose and touched a negative connection, creating a, um, a short. So I've wrapped them all so that I reduce the chance of that happening again. I've connected them all in parallel to level them off perfectly. And now I'm gonna disassemble this and assemble it in a 6S 4P pack. Okay, so I got all my cells laid out. They're all separate. Here's my bus bars, all my hardware, and so now I'm going to assemble this all to the final pack.
So now that I got my big pack assembled, I'm gonna disassemble this mess, clean this area up, and then bring in the new battery. I think it's finally time to try out this battery. So this is what I came up with. Let's bring it outside. <laughs> she heavy? Yeah, it's kind of heavy. It's lighter than like one lead acid battery though, I think. two-thirds of the yeah. yeah you know what this is actually looking promising Voltage. Ooh, we got lots of voltage. And it starts. No problem. Lots of power. So building a custom starter battery was very experimental. I did a lot of research and I believed that it would work. So I tried it out and we're successful luckily. Yep. We've had it for about a week now and uh, yeah, we've had it, haven't had any problems with it. So yeah, it worked perfectly. There's not much to say other than it works. It, that's how it should be. You shouldn't have to think about it again. Yeah. You install it. Close the door, never think about it again. That's how a battery should be. And again, if you want a more in-depth video on how to build a custom starter battery, let us know in the comments. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll make something like that for you. So now we're one step closer to finally getting this bus on the road. Just gotta paint it and get it certified. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>